Hey y'all, I'm at a customer's house. Got another, not a big bush job. I'm just gonna show you trimming uh, the front yard here. They're pretty overgrown and I'm gonna be cutting them back fairly significantly, not a whole lot. But yeah, I think, I can't think the name of these bushes, y'all. Uh, they got a smell to them when you cut them. That I actually like, I think you got a smell. I think they smell pretty good. Uh, feel free to comment on the name of them. Uh, I've actually got a little app on my phone that I can take a picture of them and they'll tell me the, the name, but yeah. I've done this several times. So I promise you none of these bushes are gonna die. They haven't been cut back in probably a year or so, so they're significantly overgrown. So I'm gonna cut them back a good bit, but yeah, that's a little section there. And over here, the same type of shrubs. As you see, they're growing up over the column there. They need to be cut back a lot, get it away from the porch. Insane thing, guys. I mean, these are way overgrown. So yeah, we're gonna get these cut back a good bit using my HS HT55 still has trimmers with the new bar. So yeah, I'll get some good footage of these guys. It's not a, a huge job. I'm just gonna do the front. There are some in the back. I'm gonna have Justin do the back, but I'll focus on these overgrown bushes here in the front and we'll get a nice after, after view once I get everything done.
Hi right, y'all, just finished up. Uh, we also mowed it as we uh, cleaned everything up. But yeah, these are uh, tea olives, I believe is the name of them. And I promise you, they won't die, y'all. Okay, I know I cut them back a good bit, and this may not be the perfect time. It's May the 6th right now. But I've cut them back numerous times over the years. And they always come back. But yeah, he likes them fairly big, so I, mean, I don't cut them way back. And then over here, same thing. Yeah, I thought it turned out good. Got it off the column here in the porch. He got a little, uh, little bit of a gap there you know, between the uh, columns and the porch, uh, the brick, and over here, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, honestly, after we blow and all that, I'll go around and kind of uh, trim some of the stuff that may be sticking up and not looking exactly right, just kind of flatten everything out, make everything look good. But yeah, Ben, he's a nice guy. I'm sure I'll be happy with it. Try to get as much stuff out of the bottom as I can. There's still some stuff in there. We try to blow out as much as we can, but yeah. Thought it turned out good. Uh, we worked hard and got it done. As you can see, you got a big pile over here for the city. They'll pick up tomorrow. So it works out good. The pile won't be here very long. Anyway, y'all, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I think I did a good job. Have a good one. Talk to you later.